what's up guys if you're joining me this is the Xiaomi Fimi X8 SE 2020 edition um, as you can see a lot of people have complained about the gimbal um, this gimbal is not straight so what I will do is I'll, I'll put it on this surface first at the edges of this area this style this big dial and if you look at it from the corner uh, you might not know if it's straight or not until you switch it on now let's switch it on one two click let's see what happens to the gimbal now um, that's the gimbal and it's it's not straight now you can see the gimbal is slanted it's slanted and uh, sometimes when you go into your phone and you put up the grid view you will notice that it's the horizon is not straight uh, so what I'm going to do with you is I will show you how to fix that it's, it's not a technical uh, fault from the drone there is a solution so stay with me let's fix this as you can see if you look from this corner it's uh, slanted it's not straight it's clearly not straight even if the calibration works uh, it's not straight but when you go straight it's uh, slanted and uh, when we prove it's uh, very straight we will put it at the edge of this uh, tile and you can see how slanted it is so we are going to fix this gimbal let it be straight to fix to fix this problem I might point the drone at a corner of the wall do you see now I'll align the drone to the line on the tiles there we go that's it that's it right there I just try to make it straight so I can have a straight view you can see I'll give it the best angle and that's 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 it and that's it now I'll try to observe the camera and I know the camera is not straight so let's go into my phone and let's fix this now so if you're joining me we've just entered my my drone and as you can see this is the view from my smartphone so what we have to do is you see the wall right in front of me um, follow my instructions uh, into your settings uh, that settings right there now you can see um, the icons on the left hand corner you can see the third icon that looks like a ball uh, click on it now go to advanced setting you can see the gimbal calibration you can calibrate but it doesn't change the fact you can see the gimbal pitch you can see advanced setting and the uh, my drone is still aligned to the tile slides and it's facing the wall so what I do is I go to gimbal parameters and that's it it's going to go ask me this I have to validate it it's been restored to default I reset the parameters and go into advanced setting and I go to adjust now I'm going to adjust my gimbal so please look at this the grid lines on the screen now what I have to do is I have to move the position of the gimbal up uh, that it I'm trying to go up and you can see I will go up I will go right up I go right up to the center I'll try to get the top of the at the black layer uh, that's the maximum now I will try to go to the R axis the R axis and you can see I'm trying to level it do you see it do you see it's slanting it's slanting try to make it level then I get to the Y axis with the Y axis uh, what happens to my drone is I'm trying to get it straight so I'm rotating it I'm rotating it and I have to do that manually you can see you could ignore the numbers now I will slant it again it's too slanted now you see I can get the best fix now you can see that it's very straight from my grid if you're looking at the grid now you can see it's very straight now you have to save these settings but remember that you have to get it back down now you have to get it back the P axis you have to go back to zero so I'll get back my P axis to zero. Do you see what I'm doing? Minus five, four, three point two, two point zero, one point eight, and that is now zero. That's it. Now, if you look at the black uh, layer of the wall, you can see that it's leveled. My drone is still at the same position, 
still at the same angle but now I have to just look at the camera to make sure that it's straight so that's where I am now so I'm going to save these settings and I'm going to click calibrate that's it now it's calibrating so you just have to wait that's it and it's going to calibrate restoring the default to what you've just set it to be and uh, I believe a lot of people have said the gimbal is faulty but remember that you can always save what you consider as your best default angle of the gimbal so that you have a better view of the horizon without the camera tilting left and right after a normal calibration I hope this fix helps you I'm going to film the camera uh, on the drone so that you can see its position on the floor at the angle of the tiles where I left it on the line of the tile and you can see how it's straight facing the wall uh, just stay with me I cancel this sorry for that interruption yeah that's that's an interruption I don't like let's get back to our calibration succeeded so I click okay now that's it so now what you see you should succeed it so I click okay now that's it so now what you see you've got a very straight view it's much improved and if I still feel I need to improve it I will read again so that's the fix I have for you guys and uh, that's it so now I can move my camera you can see now if you had to look at the horizon that's how straight it will be so the new settings are default if I want to prove that I go back into my gimbal settings I go to advanced settings I go adjust and you can see everything is restored to zero that's now my new default so I won't validate that just click sign out sign out I won't save it and that's it I'm out of it now let's get into the device and let's confirm that setting has been validated please just be patient with me I am trying to get this sorted I've just lost my visibility let's get back out and let's get back into the device there we go let's boot it all over let's get back into the device and let's look at it oh I'm disconnected that's it there we go there we go. we're right back here and as you can see uh, everything is back intact so i hope this fix helps many of us and let's feel positive that we can solve the problem by ourselves and uh, the gimbal is not faulty if you couldn't see what i did at first now you can see now the fix has been applied if you look at the edge of the box and you look at the gimbal it's it's quite straight and if you move it it's going to respond that's it that's it it's disconnected from the app so it's a little bit slow but the fix has been applied and if you look at it that's it it's now very straight and uh, you can always adjust and adjust until you derive satisfaction so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much thank you